my name is Nicola Batalana, and this is my 2013 Graphic 45 Design Team Audition Round 2. I am so thrilled to have made it to the second round. Um, I'm flabbergasted, really, and I'm honored. And I hope, I really do hope, that um, the project that I'm going to share with you is worthy of um, the Graphic 45 name. Um, I did want to do a project that reflected my values as an artist, and one of the things that I think is really important is recycling and reusing. And so, the project I'm going to share with you takes these things, um, old CD jewel cases, and then turns them into a little glass greenhouse. And then we're going to use some beautiful Graphic 45 papers to turn that plain old greenhouse into a whimsical fairy garden. Um, I do hope you like it. I do hope you try it. And let's go make a mess. The first part of this project is to create the base. And for the base, what we're going to do is take our CD cases and take out the papery bits that are inside. We're going to pop out the, the, the part that has the CD in it. And all we're left with are these jewel, the jewel cases. Um, two of the cases we're going to leave intact. The third one we're going to take apart. And when we take these apart, you will find that there are two distinct pieces. There's one that has a tiny hole to hinge and one that has these little nubs that hold the cases together. We want the piece that has the nubs and um, this is just through my own trial and error. I found this to be the easiest piece to use. And what you want to do is get some sandpaper and just sand down those little nubs until they're quite flat. The next thing you want to do is we're going to arrange our pieces so that we have this house shape. And this is why we need two and a half pieces because um, there are one, two, three, four, uh, five sides to this and not six. And when you have all your pieces sort of lined up, um, it's easiest to do this on a table. Just line everything up the way that you want it and then you can take a little bit of um, some E6000 glue or I've just used some a little thing of of uh, super glue, some crazy glue, and all you're going to do is put a tiny drop in each of these hinged corners or hinged areas. And all you need is one little drop. You don't need to go crazy. So what you'll do is let this sit uh, for, I don't know, for an hour until the glue dries and then turn it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. Now it might not seem too sturdy at first but don't worry about that because our embellishments are actually going to help uh, give it a little bit of stability. So here's one that I've completed and yeah, it's going to make the most fabulous little recycled greenhouse. So now we can get started on embellishing our, our little CD case uh, greenhouse. And I'm going to be using mainly um, the French country papers. So I've cut out, um, I fussy cut some bits and pieces from the uh, Bonjour set and I've actually used this old um, handle as a template and cut out some pieces from the um, abundance and I've cut myself some two centimeter strips which I've then folded about halfway down the middle and this is from the Provence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by placing this piece along the top and I'm just going to use like glue sparingly 
And this folded bit is going to go at the peak of my piece. And hopefully, if I just give a little squeeze and hold on for a second, it should stay in place nicely. And I've also fussy cut a, like a bunch of these um, really cute sort of patterns from the Bonjour collection. And I'm sorry, from the Bonjour sheet from the French Country collection. I'm just going to place that right along there. And these are just going to cover up my edges. And that's my goal at this point, is to just cover up all the ugly bits and pieces. And you may have to hold things in place for a moment or two, and that's okay. Take your time. Enjoy yourself. That's what it's really all about, isn't it? Then my funny shaped bob from the Abundance Collection will go on the corner. And then another red part, fussy cut from the Bonjour sheet will go in the corner there. And I'll repeat this for all four corners. And it should make for a very pretty little scene. And I have this other sh little funny cut shape, which is just an altered version of, of that. And these will be going right there. And again, another piece from the Bonjour. These will go on the sides here. And I'll just continue doing this, applying these, oops, applying these pieces. Um, I'm just going to line that up so that it's pretty. And then I have one last piece here that I'm going to include. And this piece is actually from the old Botanica Bella collection from the Garden Suite. And this is just going to go right in here. So I've gone ahead and finished placing all of those little papery bits that I showed you on the exterior of our little greenhouse. And what we're going to do next is move forward uh, and begin working on the interior. This way, when we place our final embellishments on the outside, they're not disrupted. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of this paper, which is from the Craft Reflections collection. This is Bits and Pieces and I'm going to place this inside. The reason I'm placing this inside is not only to give it a, a more finished look, but also when I put my moss on top of this, if there's any areas that aren't completely covered by moss, the dark paper will actually help to sort of fill in any um, gaps that might occur. So that just fits in there just nicely. And now what we're going to do is cover that with sheet moss. So now that our glue is in place, we're just going to take some sheet moss and place it right inside there. And we want a nice thick carpet of moss inside our box. And you can see 
that the sheet moss covers things really nicely and it saves a whole lot of hassle rather than using um, a loose type moss. So there we have it. There's a nice carpet of moss for our greenhouse, our greenhouse garden. So I'm ready to start filling out the inside of my greenhouse. Uh, what I've done is I've taken some gals from the Bathing Beauties sheet of the On the Boardwalk collection and given them some wings. And I've sat this gal on top of a dimensional toadstool sticker that I have. Um, I've put one back to back so that both sides are, are finished. And now what I'm going to do is find a place for her in here. I'm going to kind of dig a little hole with my finger and then stick her right in. And if I leave her for a second, she should sit there just nicely. There we go. And the graphic 45 papers are really nice and thick, so you shouldn't have any problem with these starting to stand up on their, on their own. And I'm going to continue to fill up my little box with all sorts of flowers come fr cut from different uh, papers, and I'm just going to sort of place them around so that we create a little garden inside of our of our greenhouse. And here's the completed interior of my greenhouse. You could definitely add three-dimensional flowers if you like. I happen to really like the look of two-dimensional cut pieces layered to give a sort of theater quality to, to the piece. Um, and all I've done is stagger the, the pieces to fill up the space um, until it's in a really nice arrangement. One tip I will give you is to make sure that you try and get some height. Um, having that girly sit on the toadstool helps to fill the space a bit better than if I was to just leave everything on the ground. So I'm going to finish up the exterior now by adding a few more finishing touches. And the reason I didn't do these beforehand was um, just to make sure that nothing got wrecked while I was shifting and moving my piece around. I'm repeating a lot of the same um, shapes. Repetition is one of the secrets to good design. And I'm going to add this beautiful gold colored Dresden trim which I think is so pretty and I just I really really like using these trims and I got this one from Alpha Stamps it's so cute if you're making tiny little crowns it's actually perfect I'm going to add a little piece to the front and to the back as well That's a bit sloppy. Hang on one second. Clean that up. There we go. And I've made this bunting just from a piece of string and um, snippets from some beautiful graphic 45 papers. And I'm going to add this there we go 
gently, gently, so that it lies nicely in these corners here. Pretty cute. And of course, you don't have to add the bunting if you don't want to. Oops, I'm going to cut that little bit of excess string off there. There we go. I don't know about you, but I always keep all my little scraps because I know that one day they will come in handy. And also because, well, the paper is so pretty. You don't want to toss it out, do you? And the last thing I'm going to add are some vintage buttons. And these will finish the piece off nicely. I'm just adding them to the corners. And the buttons don't have to match. Um, you can be go crazy and be a little bit haphazard with what they look like. And again, I'm going to do the same thing to the back because even though, you know, it's not displayed always in front, it is important to to give your projects a completed look. Um, think this is almost done. Oops, get in there button. So I think that might be it. This is the completed project here, all gussied up. And thanks to Graphic45 for this fabulous opportunity. And thanks for watching. I do hope that you'll try this project yourself.